Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for uh, the third quarter of 2021. Um, hold on one second. We got uh, you, <laughs> the Emperor, wanting to pop out there, Aries. Uh, we are going to jump right in here if I can learn how to shuffle. And we are just going to uh, take a look at your current general energies in this first row. Uh, in your second row, we're going to take a look at any messages from your future self. In your next row, we're going to look at anything unexpected coming in for you. And in your last row, we're going to look at any messages from your uh, guides. Um, also, Aries, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. Also, uh, on top of that, uh, there are a ridiculous amount of scammers pretending to be me. I will never contact you for a personal reading. I will never contact you for money, anything, uh, Aries. So uh, make sure to only follow the social media accounts that are down below in the description because those are the only official accounts. There are, like, someone is creating like hundreds of accounts claiming to be me and uh, scamming people out of money. So make sure that doesn't happen. But uh, Aries, let's see here. You start off in your current general energies with the magician. Uh, can't beat that. Really good card. This basically says for the next three months, you'll be creating your own reality and that you'll be able to manifest whatever you desire, <laughs> Aries. So like I said, really good energy. And this is like one of my favorite magicians cards of all time here in the light seers tarot it's like the magician is kind of like pushing energy out into this pool and it's like coming around and back into the other side of uh, the other kind of hand of the magician on this card and to me, it is kind of like saying that I, I do feel that you are kind of making requests of the universe, like you're trying to manifest things. And I do feel like this is asking for a little bit of patience, you know, uh, because I feel that really it's like when we request something from the universe, we don't necessarily um, manifest things instantly uh, yet. That, might, that day may come. Aries, where we, you can manifest things instantly, but uh, for now, it takes a little bit of time. You have the Magician, the Justice card, and the Page of Wands. It is going to be super important for you. I mean, this row is only saying one thing. Uh, this row is saying that it is going to be very important for you to put your energy into things that give you energy back, literally. I mean, the Justice card, Aries, is cause and effect. The Justice card is you put energy into something, and then the, the scale tilts towards that direction basically. So it kind of says, make sure to give energy to things that give energy to you. Make sure to, you know, put your energy into things that fulfill you, not things that steal energy from you and things like that. So I feel like it's going to be very important for you here to kind of like protect your energy to, you know, make sure that you're um, putting energy into things that return energy to you. Major, you know, I feel that this world card is kind of talking about number one, travel. So some of you, you have the three of wands here. Even the king of cups to me uh, is a clue card. There are certain cards in the tarot that I use as clues, um, it, meaning that if they show up with like other cards, they can represent something different. And the king of cups to me is a clue card for moving. And you also have the two wands here as well. So some of you could be like moving or traveling, but for the most part, I feel like this is saying that you are kind of completing something here. For some of you, I do feel that you're completing something uh, that could be legal. So you could be completing a like divorce uh, or just some other type of legal situation here. And I really feel like this uh, page of wands is just your energy right now. I feel like it's just saying that you are in the position of creating your own reality. Like I said, you have a star. Damn. Uh, this is a really good reading, Aries. Love it. <laughs> um, the star is attention. I really feel like saying you feel like you're on top again as well. Because, uh, you know, Aries, I feel like I said this to you in your June reading as well. Like, I, I feel like a little bit of a dip, you know, where it's kind of like I feel right now you're kind of like in this little dip. And I, I don't want to scare you because, again, it's like, you know, over the next three months, I feel like you're coming back to the top. I feel like this is just a dip. I feel like it's just, a, you know, just like a m moment in time. I feel like you're about to come back out on top. So, you know, if you feel like at work, you've kind of maybe been pushed behind the scenes, and maybe in business or even in your love life as well. Because I, I get something here about feeling like you're not being seen or feeling like you're not being heard even or something like that. I feel like you're about to come out on top. That's the best way I could say this, <laughs> Aries. And you can't beat that. I definitely like that energy. Boom. You cannot make this up. Look, uh, star, getting a lot of attention. Six of wands is the card of recognition and achievement. Definitely some sort of achievement that is coming in for you here, Aries. And the queen of cups. Yeah. 
yeah, Queen of Cups is a card of nurturing. Definitely trust your intuition. And right here, if you're looking for love, Queen and King of Cups could be, um, you know, divine counterparts. So this could be a very strong uh, connection coming in for you here, Aries. Um, but, you know, we'll talk about that more in a minute. I feel like this first row is more saying you're kind of creating your own reality. As always, we are always creating our own reality. But I, I really feel like it's saying you're kind of like back on top. And I really just get the more like you're just in a dip. And for some of you, I feel like you're kind of working your way out. For others, I feel like you just kind of feel, you know, a little bit like you're in a dip and you're about to pop out the other side. So I definitely like to see that. Uh, next in the area of any messages from your future self, you have the dragonfly spirit. This card says truth transcends illusion. So I feel that there could be some truths coming out. I do feel like you're noticing like truths it just in general. <laughs> and uh, you have the justice card here. Um, if the ace of swords pops out, I'm probably going to freak out because, you know, I would say that you could be just noticing, you know, I feel like it's more like a global energy where you're just like noticing the truth in all situations. You have the King of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, and the King of Cups here. I keep getting the word direction here, Libra, and I feel like you know something here. It's it's almost like this knowing is the best way I can describe it. And it's like you're going one way, everybody's going the other. I feel like I said this to you in your June reading. It's like the same message. I feel like you're going against the grain here. It's like you're doing something that other people aren't doing. It's a very weird message, very, and it's very general as well. But, um, and I'll give you a couple examples in just a second. But I feel like you need to keep doing what you're doing because you're right, is what I would say here. For some of you, I feel like you're feeling this feeling like, oh, I need to move, I need to travel, I need to, um, you know, or maybe you're feeling like I need to make this change in my business. And for whatever reason, it's kind of weird because, like, I see the King of Pentacles going this this direction towards the past, and I see this King of Cups going more towards the future. Literally, this is saying to me, King of Pentacles is a card of convention. It's a card of the way things have always been done. And he's going towards the past. It's like, I feel like everybody's going this way. And he's pointing towards the world. The world is everybody, right? The King of Cups here, more intuitive, more um, kind of knows uh, what to do, going this direction, three wands, expansion, growth, you know, uh, abundance, good things, and the Strength card. The Strength card is really your answer here because the Strength card is a display of strength. This is a card of you showing off. I always say, who in the right mind would stick their hands in a lion's mouth? The answer is nobody. So, you know, the Strength card is a card of showing off. It is a display of strength. So pretty simple row. I feel like this is saying that you need to let go of the past, number one, with the two of wands here. But also I feel like you need to don't not be afraid to be a leader. For a lot of you, I feel like you're taking your kind of, you know, it's almost like you're taking a leadership role back is what I would say here. Like I said, I feel like you're ending up on top here, Aries. So don't be afraid uh, to go against the grain here. But let's see, you have the Knight of Swords, again, running this direction. Knight of Swords is a card of making a hasty decision. You have the Empress, a lot of abundance, a lot of success here. And you have the <laughs> the Fool, trust your intuition, Aries. Um, this is like a head over heart decision, but that's not accurate. Um, you know, I wouldn't really call this a head over heart decision because I don't think this is in, and I also don't think this is having to do with love necessarily in your life. I feel like this is a much bigger, I really don't think this is a love reading in general, Aries. I mean, you do have love here. I mean, don't get me wrong. But, you know, as I say to everybody, love is always available to us. We just have to go and get it, right? What I would say is that this reading is much bigger picture for you, and it's about making some serious moves in your life based off your intuition. So it's like you're acting from a place of intuition. I feel like you're not acting from a place of just making a choice with the Knight of Swords. I do feel like you could be, if you're like making a move here, if you're doing something different with your life, I feel like you could have people in your life who are saying, don't do this, you know, um, you're, you're making a hasty decision, something like that. So uh, I do feel like you need to be careful who you're surrounded yourself with. I would be careful who you listen to as well here with this energy, but I feel like you know what's best, Aries, and I really feel this reading is very simple. I feel like you just need to listen to yourself, and that's it. It's like your intuition is telling you something. I feel like you keep feeling something, and I feel like it's more, and I feel like this could be a little bit of a challenge for you because it's a feeling. I feel That's the best way I can describe it. I don't think it, it's not like a, it's not like a knowing. It's not like a, um, it's not like you've been given all these clues that you need to make some sort of change. I feel like you just feel something, and it feels very different to me as well. I also feel like, like, you know, it's almost like, um, 
it, you know, when I was a kid, uh, I was a nerd, and I, all I would do is, like, play with magnets, right? And it's like when you're a kid and you're trying to stick two magnets together and they just push, you know, they can't go together. I feel like that's the feeling I get here. It's almost like you're, it's like, you know, maybe everybody in your life is like saying, keep this job, it's a good job. But I feel like you resist it. You know, I feel like this um, right here, like in my solar plexus, <laughs> I feel that resistance of not wanting to go towards something. I, I feel like the King of Cups is very in tune with his emotions. I feel like he's very in tune with his feelings as well. And I feel like this reading is saying over the next three months, it's like, if there's something you don't want to do, I feel like you're not going to do it. You're not, you're physically not going to want to do it. So I, I feel like you need to listen to yourself here uh, with this energy. Uh, next in the area of um, anything unexpected, you have this mature woman card. Um, you know, again, I don't attach gender to my cards. Could be any, you know, to me, when these, there's a mature man, mature woman card in this deck. When it shows up in one of these rows, to me, it's just talking about you, your energy. It's just saying you're making mature decisions. So, you know, I feel like this is just you showing up at the top of the row of the unexpected. You have the Ace of Pentacles, the Hermit, and the Three of Wands. I feel like you're really grabbing the bull by the, you know, by the balls here, Aries. I feel like you're really making something happen. Ace of Pentacles is just an opportunity. It's not, you know, Ace of Pentacles is a hand of God reaching out with an, a big pentacle in its hand, and, and it can just represent something that has potential. Uh, here's the thing that you have. You have the, like, wisdom of the hermit. The hermit is a card of soul searching. It's a card of going through a dark night of the soul. It's a card of climbing to the top of a mountain, you know, basically going through something very difficult to find your inner light. So I feel for a lot of you, it's kind of like you have, um, over the past few years, found out what you want. But I also feel like you've gained a lot of wisdom. And it's like you're taking advantage of an opportunity that's coming your way because of your knowledge. To me, this is just saying you're more than intelligent enough to take advantage of something new that's coming your way and three watts this is going to lead to expansion for for a lot of you the best way i could um kind of describe this row right here is like with a circle uh, <laughs> And for some of you, like, I feel like you're in a circle, right? You feel like, you feel like this is you, is a circle. And I feel like maybe there's a title on that circle. Like maybe you are, um, maybe you have a certain career and I feel like that identifies you, right? Or maybe you identify with a certain career. It's like you're expanding your circle here um, and making it bigger. So I feel for a lot of you, it's like you could be going from one career to something much bigger where it's like an expansion of, you know, what you do. Same thing in work or business. I feel like you're kind of getting into this place where actually maybe you won't have any title like in work or business. It's like maybe you're very more focused in and I feel like you're kind of like expanding out. Um, and normally I would advise against this, but for some reason, I'm seeing it as a good thing here, Aries, um, you know, and I, uh, like I said, I would go for it. For others, I feel that there is something that you're waiting on here. And like, here it is, um, but what's the issue? <laughs> let's, let's find out here, Aries. You have the judgment card. Yes, I feel that there is an unexpected wake-up call. It's like you are seeing something like you have to take advantage of it. You have the Ace of Wands, very passionate new beginning coming in for you here, Aries. And you have the Five of Swords. I think you have to take a risk. I mean, this is like one of those things where um, the Judgment card could be a wake-up call, but with that Ace of Pentacles, it could be an opportunity that's coming your way, like to start a business or uh, to get a new job somewhere. But it's like you really have to jump onto it. Ace of Wands kind of says you're ready. Ace of Wands card of inspiration. So I do feel like you could be feeling inspired at this time. It, and it's like, um, you know, it's like a card of inspired action. That Five of Swords with the Three of Wands, like really ne needing to take a risk. And we kind of see that on this bottom row. Like I said, this is what has always been. This is what will be down here is the best way I could describe this reading. So I feel like you need to kind of like take some sort of leap of faith here, Aries. Uh, next in the uh, area of messages from your guides, you have the All That Glitters card. I do feel some of you are starting to see some cracks in something, and I feel like your guides are asking you to pay attention to that. I, and I feel like I've said this to you like many times. For some of you, it's like if you have a job or a business, I feel like you're starting to see cracks that are forming in the job, and it's like maybe you feel like it's time to get out, or maybe you feel like it's time to start looking for something new. I feel like your guides want you to do that. Um, but this could be in any area of your life. Could be your health. You know, maybe you're starting to notice that certain things affect you more than others. This would say change it now before it becomes a bigger issue. Um, 
Same thing in a relationship. It's like, you know, I think so many times it's like, you know, we could be in a relationship and there could be problems that start to develop that don't need to develop, right? If we correct the problem, then there's no reason to leave the relationship. I feel like that's a problem with modern relationships is it's like we just go from one to the other without trying to fix the problems. And it's like, you know, going to another person isn't going to solve anything. I think this is why people just go from person to person to person. And it's it, it's because, you know, we don't try to fix things. <laughs> and so, uh, and I'm not calling you out here, Aries. I, I blame every. I do the same thing, right? So, you know, I would just say that I feel like, you know, this is saying if you see a problem, fix it. And that, that's what your guides want you to do. You have the Nine of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, and Strength card. You know, definitely some sort of wish coming in for you. I really feel your guides want you to take this bottom row for whatever reason. Um, again, I feel like everybody in your life is going this direction towards the past. I feel like you should run the other direction. I mean, the best advice I could give you, and I live by this advice, is if everybody's going one way, I'm going the other, right? <laughs> so don't follow the crowd is what this reading is basically saying. And I feel like it's like, you know, it's funny that it's a lion because it's like there, there are like a billion sayings that involve a lion and a, a lamb, right? And it's like all the sheep are going this direction. You're a lion. And even though you're not a lion, I realize you're not a lion, Aries, but, um, you know, I feel like you are the lion in this reading. And I feel like you need to go this direction in your own direction because you're going to be seen as a leader um, for doing this here. And, and I think you need to do that. Definitely some sort of wish coming in. Let's see where this is. Uh, going Aries, uh, you have the world again. Yeah, like I said, could be the world twice. Could you could be wrapping up this cycle here? Um, you know, of kind of like doing things the same way. Three cups celebration. And you have the Two of Swords here. Two of Swords says, uh, go towards the new lands. You know, she's sitting where she has always been. There's new lands behind her here, Aries, and she needs to go in the new direction. So I would say don't hesitate. Again, I feel like you could have a lot of people in your life who are like saying, don't move or, you know, don't start that business or don't do this, don't do that. What You know, whatever it is, doesn't matter. I feel like that is your clue to do it, <laughs> is what I would say here, Aries. Because, you know, like I always say, I, like I feel like people really do, for the most part, have our best interest at heart. But, um, you know, really when someone says don't start that business, it's just because they can't see themselves starting a business. When they say don't move, it's because they can't see themselves living where they have always been, right? So I feel like you that's like the realization that you are having here. Uh, if you want love, by the way, again, um, divine counterparts, queen and king of cups here, and you have the empress. So I feel like you're very attractive at this time. Um, but what I would say is that I feel like if you want love, the, the world and the star here, plus the world over here, it's really saying you're gonna have to put yourself out there. You're gonna have to get the attention uh, if you want love. So again, if you want love, it's available, but you're gonna have to go and get it, plain and simple. Uh, if you're already in a relationship, looks good, like I said. But what, one thing I would say is if you're starting to see cracks, I would correct those things before they become a bigger issue just by communicating, talking about it, finding a solution, right? Uh, we're going to do three yes or no question cards now here, Aries. So we're going to do one, two, and three. Um, feel free to pause this video if you need to think of questions, one, two, and three. For question number one, you have the magician. I would say yes, again, magician, most important card here. You really like creating your own reality at this time. For question number two, uh, two of swords, I would say no uh, with this card. I feel very stuck on this card, not here, but just right here in this part of the reading. And for question number three, I would say uh, no as well. Um, so I mm, I like the nine of wands personally. It, to me, it's a good card, but I feel like saying no. So I read intuitively and that's what I'm getting. I feel like you, this is like saying, let go of the past and move towards the future. It's like you're really kind of stepping up into this, you know, powerful energy. Really, I feel like this reading is just saying, you know, by the time we get to like September, October, it's kind of like you're back on top. I feel like that's the feeling. Like, I feel like you feel like that. That's the best way I could describe the feeling I have, where it's like you feel like you're standing out. You feel like you're doing the right things. I feel like the feelings have been off for, you know, like a few months, basically. And it's like you're finally getting back into your power here. Really nice reading. Simple. Love it. I love simple. To me, it says that you're, you don't have many difficulties to deal with. So I like that. But uh, anyway, thank you for watching, Aries. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you. But uh, thank you and definitely enjoy your month.